Jessie here. So today is day negative one. What I'm trying to say is today is his last day home, so he's not gone quite yet. My original idea for these videos was for me to film and vlog on my phone as it happens, but I did that today and I saw that the camera quality was kind of shitty, so I'm just letting y'all know. So today I woke up and not go back to sleep. I was so anxious, just excited because I know that he's incredibly excited to be there. He wants to start this, especially since Adam comes from a military family. Like, this is just what he's always dreamed of. So I was just excited to see him and get, you know, quality time that I know I'm going to need. Then we went to breakfast with his brother, and it was really great. You know, we got to sit down and laugh like nothing was happening. After that, we went straight to his recruiter's office. I don't know exactly what he did there. I kind of stepped back and, you know, let him and his family deal with that. I know it didn't take more than 30 minutes, and when I actually did walk up there, he had signed some papers, shaken her hand, and, like, they just talked about how she was proud of him and words of encouragement. And that was my first time at a recruiter's office. I think it was really cute. I actually liked it a lot so it made me a little bit more excited about like the military life and stuff after that i actually got to come over to their house and spend the day with him and his family which ended up kind of weird are you excited no, I'm Adam. Da -da -da. It's already happened. Just be like, hey, are you it's, excited? It's happening. Like, Look how scripted this is. <laughs> hey, Adam, are you ready? You're supposed to say, hey, are oh you excited? Oh my god. Are you ready? Okay, okay. Like, All right, no it's happening. Adam. That's my sailor, America's future. After that, at a certain time, he did need to report to a hotel, which is assigned by the Navy. There, he will be spending a night with a partner or roommate because they have them in a group and they will like ship them off from there to MEPS in the morning. Before I get into the whole what's happening next deal, um, I wanted to talk about the goodbye. Now I actually filmed this on my phone so I wanted to show you because that's really what I wanted to make this series for. I wanted to portray, you know, the spouses or girlfriends or boyfriends, um, what they're going through while their recruit is out. I found out that they call them recruits before they graduate boot camp, so that's why I'm using that word. Anyway, anyway, here's me talking about our goodbyes. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a really empty feeling, <sighs> knowing that. Um, I mean, I'm gonna see him swear in tomorrow. It's just like I won't be able to talk to him um, face to face or like hug him until the eight months are up. I'm trying really hard. He seemed all right for the day, normal, playing video games and hanging out with his family. And then when we said goodbye, he, like his eyes started watering and he doesn't normally cry, which got me even more emotional. He decided that like it was goodbye and like I'm gonna go in the car before I cry sort of deal. So um, I just hope he's doing all right. I'm gonna be able to text him until tomorrow morning. Yep, I promise it's not gonna be easy and I only look this calm and collected now because I know I'm gonna be able to text him after I turn my camera off. All right, now for what's happening next. Tomorrow morning, he's gonna wake up early and he's going to be shipped off to MEPS. There, I don't know if they're going to be doing any medical testing on him or anything, but what I do know is that he's swearing in. Now, my boyfriend had sworn in when he had like enlisted I don't know if that's normal or not, but I decided it was worth a mention. So they will be swearing in again, and we get to be there for that. Since it is at MEPS, we don't know if we're going to be able to talk to him before he swears in or after, so that's why I did say my goodbyes when I did. And after all of that is over, they ship them straight to the airport. Now, of course, that means that my recruit lives off state from where the boot camp actually is taking place. That's all I know up to this point, so I will keep you guys updated right now. Hey guys, so it's 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm heading straight to MEPS. He texted me and let me know that we can see him until they take him to the airport. And I did bring my camera so that I could um, record him swearing in. 
detail, attention. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear to support and defend? To support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States and the orders. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. Of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Attention. Please. All right, give yourselves a hand. Hey guys, so um, I just heard his voice for the last time before he um, comes back. That got me a little bit more than I thought it would. Y'all, sorry for uh, actually taping this with the front camera, but um, I just received his last text. Um, like, this is for real, for real, goodbye. He uh, texted me, loved me, and he wrote goodbye. He's my best friend. And I'm gonna miss him a lot, you know? It's really upsetting to, you know, try to remember that it's temporary. And it's hard, but I know that that this is what he wants to do. And um, I'm gonna support that. Obviously for him, I gotta stay strong. And um, yeah, I just want him to be okay. That's all. So I got to calm down, edit the video, you know, watch other videos, which are the reason why I'm filming my own experience. And I started writing his first letter, which actually made me feel a lot better. And now I'm heading to bed. I actually have to take a test tomorrow morning. And tomorrow I'll actually start boot camp week one. I know this series can't be easy to watch, especially if you're going through this. So just thank you a lot for doing that. I'll see y'all in the next time I post a video. Bye.